Chris, for example. Um, I don't know if you played the video, I think. The video um, is basically the tool. It's a <laughs> I didn't want to drag it out any longer than it required. It is a, a manual for a programming language. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, hit play. Let me do a QA. Hello, my name is Chris Forrester. I've made this video to share with you a project Zeb and I have been working on during 2019. The project started out due to the need to streamline the resources available for Blitz Basic so that new users could be up and running quicker and have a modern manual to reference and read from. The original Blitz Basic manual was feeling outdated and had some errors, and in some instances a lack of information useful to a new user. Our manual hopes to address these issues. We've also found that to install Blitz Basic with all the updates and patches involved many files, each being ran one at a time. Our project has two goals. Firstly, improve the manual for readability and bring a more modern style to it. And secondly, create an installer that had all the good bits ready to go. We set about improving the manual first. We were in luck, as on the AB, the user MacGyver had already scanned and processed the manual into text using optical character recognition software. We used MacGyver's work as our starting point. Zeb proceeded to reformat the raw text. As he was doing so, he noticed many errors. For example, the word blitter was blister. This must have derived from the OCR process. We realized at that point it would be necessary to examine the entire text and to try and spot as many of these errors and correct them. Some errors were repeated throughout the manual, which could be dealt with using a find and replace action on the entire document. Others less subtle that required knowing what that section was talking about, or in some instances, cross-referencing the original manual. Zeb being a veteran programmer and expert level in his tool of choice for text editing, sped through the initial corrections. You can see here a recording Zeb made of part of this process. This has not been sped up, he was just insanely quick at working through this all. So much so I did not even get the chance to touch a page. The corrected raw text was ready to be moved into a word processor document for styling and laying out. We had to apply the various styles to each section of text. For example, code snippets had a look that was different to the main text. This was done on the entire document. Realising how fast Zeb was working through the text portion, I started to prep the images from the manual to redo the artwork. Our plan was to recreate all the images and where possible as vector graphics, so they'd be pin sharp at any screen resolution. However, Zeb had not used the program before for drawing vector graphics, and when he saw what I had recreated in the initial images, he was interested in learning to do some himself. It turned out he had so much fun doing so, he did his own version of all the images. Zeb also made screenshots to replace the old ones and threw in a few easter eggs as a nice extra touch. See if you can spot them. Next step has been reading and rereading what we have so far to try and catch the last of the mistakes. Something that has been taking up a lot of our time. I'm sure once released we will find more errors, but we're hoping the community helps and reports anything they think is an error, so we can update the document. The plan is to see if there is interest in getting these printed, so you can have the ultimate reference book at hand. We have looked at various companies that can print low volume A5 wire binding books on demand, which we think suit the style for a reference book of this type. We were thinking a group purchase could help drive the cost down and would like to see how the community feels about this idea. The manual was the first goal. Our second goal was running concurrently. I had been looking at the most recent Blitz Basic installers and various fixes for them to see what we needed to create an improved version. Third party libraries have been selected to include and we were discussing how best to deploy this all. Whilst our work was ongoing, I saw a post again from MacGyver on EAB. This time he had fixed the installer that goes with the Ultimate Blitz Basic CD-ROM and added some pre-installed libraries, exactly what we had hoped to do. Zeb and I reached out to him and tested his work. With our feedback and a few iterations of testing, we were installing Blitz Basic with all the bells and whistles with a single installer. Thank you MacGyver for another great contribution to the Blitz Basic community. So we have our initial release, providing solutions for our two goals. 
I felt the hard work deserved an official online presence. MacGyver coined his installer, Ultimate Blitz Basic Plus. The name struck a chord with me. I abbreviated it to UBB and purchased the web address www.ubb.plus. The intention is to host the most up-to-date version of the installer and manual, and perhaps long-term build a community that can share knowledge and discuss projects they are working on. Next for Zeb and I is to release a series of books that cover the reference manual for the popular third-party libraries. Most of these only exist as Amiga guide files, so have required a fair amount of repurposing of the raw text before even getting to the word processing stage. In closing, please do check out the website, bookmark it and follow the project as it evolves. If you've thought about using Blitz Basic, grab the downloads, run the installer and work through the manual. Start small and hopefully in no time at all, you'll be writing the game or application you've always wanted but could never find. There's a lot of information there, but um, guys can glance through some manual. I don't know if there's any questions on the process or anything else there. I'll try to cover most of the details. Um, but I would say the site is not HMI now. <laughs> Just got some text, I forgot to upload it last night. Um, I will put it up there pretty soon. Um, and uh, yeah, it's an easy way to get Blitz Basic installed and, and get going. It used to be far more complicated before, so I just to try to communicate. And you know, actually found with the manual, it's a big difference now. Yeah. Massively. Yeah, so if anyone's actually interested in a uh, copy of the manual, we have it as PDF, so you can have it as an access on the computer, or if you're interested in getting a printed version, uh, we'll see if we can get a lot of people together to put in a whole purchase. <laughs> so then your install is actually going to be on that side? Yeah, it's the one that we buy And packaging that sort of thing. Just for being quite hard. At the moment it's, it's too difficult. You have to go through all the, all the web pages and do it yourself a bit. It's fixes up and fixes. There, there is um, Amiblitz. Um, to and having Blitz free, which are more modern variants, so a lot of people moving towards it. Um, but having Blitz free had issues because it needed FPU requirements. Uh, but that's been taken away. Now. There's another chap, uh, Sven, I forget his surname, but he's been working on removing all the FPU requirements. So uh, if anyone wants to use a more modern version of Blitz Basic, that's, that's the way to go as he starts to open it. But uh, a lot of the code is. Uh, minus the extra libraries, um, but again, that's handled differently now. They're uh, includes and not libraries, um, so I don't know what happened with Alfred next week. <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah, a lot of the third party libraries that were released, the documentation of the Dike or just plain text files, what I've been doing um, is I've been amalgamating all these uh, third party library documentation into a massive new book. Um, so you can have another PDF file instead of having to go through text files. So you've got it's what easier. Yeah, yeah, maybe a document's not the best. So yeah, that's the project. Good project. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's why this one's short. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very nice yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's hear it, Chris and Dad.